and I have another card I'm going to share with you guys today. It's this one. I pulled out an oldie but a goodie from the annual catalog. I love snowmen, so this card is, I love it. I love the stamp set when it first came out a couple of years ago. I can't remember how long it's actually been out. You're going to have to excuse me. I had my husband help me adjust my camera again, the stand. We raised it up a little bit, so I am trying to adjust my seat now. I've been filming all day for my card club, and I just wanted to make sure that you guys can see, because like I said in my last video, I'm tired of being at the bottom of the screen, so I'm trying to really pay attention, but when I look into my phone, the holder has a big circle about this big, and it's right in the center, so it makes it really hard for me to even see. Like, I can just see on the sides a little bit, and then once I get busy, I kind of forget to pay attention to make sure I'm staying in the center of the screen. So for this card, my base is Blushing Bride. It's four and a quarter by 11, and I scored it right in the middle at five and a half. And then I used some of this beautiful paper. This is what I used for my club members last month, the Whimsy and Wonder 12 by 12. So I had some of that left over. I love this paper. This um, piece I cut four by five and a quarter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put some adhesive on the back of there. We'll layer this right on the front, just like that. And kind of put that out of the way for a minute. I cut a piece of silver foil paper. And this is from our silver foil 12 by 12. And you get three different shades of silver in this. And I just went with the lighter one. I cut it about three quarters by four and a half. Because I'm just going to put it right there on the back of that Blushing Bride piece. So my basic white piece is three by four and a quarter and my blushing bride is three and a quarter by four and a half. And then that is what I think I just told you wrong. I sat here and measured this like five times before I started. My basic white is three by four and a quarter. I want to make sure I'm getting telling you guys right. The blushing bride is three and a quarter by four and a half. Okay, I was right. I kept wanting to say it was four and a quarter. Okay, let's move this out of the way. I'm also going to use a little bit of this metallic ribbon. I'm using the Blushing Bride ribbon, and I'm using some of our rhinestones. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to just grab my piercing mat. And I'm also going to use Blushing Bride ink and our blending brushes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ink up in Versa Mark the sentiment and I'm just going to stamp it right at the bottom just like that okay then I'm going to do the same thing with the snowman make sure I have a lot of Versa Mark on him and then I'm just going to stamp him right above the sentiment okay then I'm going to move this out of the way so I don't get it a mess and in case I didn't show you guys it's the snowman season this is a bundle in the new catalog you don't get the discounted bundle price anymore that's just the first year that the stamp set comes out but it's it's worth it you guys okay I'm gonna try not to pick that up where I just stamped I'm just gonna put my embossing powder on here Give it a little flick. I'm going to turn it this way. I want to make sure I got all those little snowballs that he's got flying up in here. Now I have a paintbrush right here at my hands. And I'm just going to flick off those little extras that I can see that I don't really want on my paper. I should have used my... Uh, what do you call it? I can't remember the name of it. I started to say shimmy. It's not the shimmy. Embossing buddy. I always forget to use that until it's too late like it is right now. But it doesn't really matter because we're going to put some more snowflakes on there. I love to heat emboss. I've been doing a lot of heat embossing actually on projects. I 
Okay. So I wanted to make sure I could see where I was stamping next. And I'm going to grab, I have just a scrap piece of paper here. And I'm going to place that under there because now we're going to go in with these bigger snowflakes that's in the stamp set. And we're just going to place a few around the snowman. Let's see, I can't tell if I got one. I'm kind of scared to put one. I'm not sure if I got one right there, but we'll put just a little one there. Okay, now I'm just going to do this over the tray so I don't have to move my, um, I'll try to scoot it in here so you guys can see. I don't want to have to move my, well, I'm going to have to move the piercing pad anyway. Let's move this out of the way. I can bring that in there a little bit better. Okay. Let's see. Where else did I put them? There we go. They're starting to show up now. Okay. Now I'm just going to do right on this side again because I feel like maybe my hands touched it. And we'll do this side again. And then up there. I just want to make sure. Get that out of the way. I'm going to grab that brush, see if I need to brush anything away. Okay, I think that's all good. Now we'll dry these. You want to be very careful if you're new at heat embossing. This heat embossing tool gets super hot. It's very easy to burn yourself. I have gotten my fingers really warm several times. Okay, now we could go in and add you know, one right there, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm going to grab the scratch piece of paper again, or scrap piece of paper, my blushing bride and my blending brush. And I'm just going to get a little bit of that on my blending brush. And then I'm just going to lightly go all over the card front just giving it a nice little, nice little shade of pink. She's a girl snowman. That's what I decided, you guys. She's a girl snowman. Okay. Let me get all of this out of the way. Then we're going to take the blushing bride piece and we're going to adhere this, these two pieces together. Just layer that like that. I'm going to grab this piece of paper again. I'm just going to flip this over and grab that piece of silver. Now I'm just going to put a strip right along this edge, just like that. And then I'm just going to eyeball it. You could kind of, if you have grid paper, this would be a good time to use it so you can make sure you're getting it on there straight. I'm just, I'm just going to eyeball it, you guys. Oh, you know what? I need to peel that off really quick. That's the good thing about the seal. I was so worried I wasn't going to get that on there straight. I forgot to put my ribbon on. So let's get the ribbon on. We're only putting the ribbon on this piece anyway. I guess I could have wrapped it around the silver piece too. I just didn't on the first one, so I was just gonna kinda be committed and do it the same way. I'm not gonna tie a bow, I'm just gonna tie a little knot. My hand stuck in that little string there. Okay. Grab my ribbon scissors, trim that off, trim that off. Let's take a look. I think I'm going to trim them down even more. I don't want them to be 
too long. Just I think I cut that one too, too short. Let's see. It'll do. It'll do. I'm not sure where. I think that I can trim that off. That is driving me nuts. It will not leave me alone. But my finger got caught in. She's OPs, Louise. Okay, let's see if we've got enough of adhesive to still make this work. And I think I do. Yep, that'll be good. Then let's grab dimensionals. And I think, nope, I thought I was out. I know I've been using, cutting on the sides using scraps right before I started the video. So I thought maybe I was out. So this piece I'm popping up with dimensionals. day today you guys working on posting my projects for my kit club members for December and making these videos for you guys it's been a full day I told my husband I love how much I got done today though I got a lot done today okay now I'm going to grab a few of these rhinestones I'm gonna grab one of the bigger ones and we'll put right there and then a smaller one, I'm going to put, if I can get it picked up, we'll put it right there. Now I am going to scoot the little tag up a little bit. It kind of slipped, I think. And then we're going to put one of these other ones. If I can pick it up, we'll put it right here at the bottom, just like that. Okay. That is it for today's card, guys. I hope that you like it. Please make sure, if you haven't, to hit the like button and leave me a comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love for you to become a subscriber. I do my weekly YouTube lives now every Wednesday at noon Eastern Standard Time. And if you hit that little bell notification, it will notify you every time I upload a new video. And I forgot one little thing. Right at the end, before I went uh, to record this, I tied that. So let's go ahead and do it on this one too. Just so that way they look the same. I kind of really liked the way that little bow looked. but It'll give you an option. If you don't like it, you, you can omit doing this part. Just like that. I just thought it kind of added the little same bling that the um the silver, you know, and the embossing and the rhinestones and all that good stuff. Okay, guys, thanks so much for stopping by. I'll see you next week when I upload my next videos.